Hello everyone and welcome once again to Caleb Blake's Books. Today I have another TBR video for you for the month of February 2024. Um, so today I'm going to talk about five books that I intend to read, four that I am for sure planning to read, and then another one that I may not get to because February is a shorter month. Um, but, uh, so it's one that I would still like to get to but might not, so we'll see. Um, this month, um, one thing that I want to do on the channel more this year is do, uh, different themes for some months. And for February, I want to focus on a theme of more romance-leaning books. Um, one book that I have read in January but am not reading in February, um, but will have a review out for is Star Wars Lost Stars, uh, which is a romance book, and I want to include some other romance books in my TBR for this month so that I can have a few more romance-leaning uh, books to talk about on the channel uh, for this month. This is something that I've done before for October for Halloween, reading some uh, horror, um, so I want to do it for some other months as well. So I have uh, three books on here that are romance-leaning books, um, so it's not a huge amount, but it still, I think, is uh, enough to uh, be able to do this sort of thing. So first I'm actually going to talk about a reread that I plan to do. Uh, another one of my goals this year is to do rereads every month. Um, so I am planning to reread Star Wars Darth Plagueis by I believe James Lucino. Um, this is a favorite Legends book of mine, uh, one that I read a couple years ago now and would like to read again because I haven't actually reviewed it on the channel and it's been a while since I read it and I feel like reading it again. Um, this is one that I really love um, and uh, when I first read it, it was among my favorite Legends books and it has remained that way even to this day. So very excited to revisit this one. I hope I enjoy it just as much, if not more, uh, compared to the first time, and uh, I look forward to being able to talk about it on the channel. The next three are the three romance books that I mentioned. Uh, first one that I have on here is going to be Yumi and the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, this one, uh, Brandon Sanderson hasn't re written any like straight, like complete romance books and I don't think I think one of these is basically just a romance book as far as I'm aware um I don't I don't intend to read like any just romance books maybe I will someday but for the most part it's going to be you know sci-fi books fantasy books with a romance lean to them and uh from the sounds of it from what I've heard this seems to be uh matching that so this is one that I don't know a huge amount about. Um, I know I've heard a few things about it as far as the story and the world and things like that. Um, and it sounds very cool, very unique for Sanderson. Um, and Sanderson is my favorite writer. Um, I love all of the books of his I've read. I've read almost all of his Cosmere books. Um, haven't read any of his non-Cosmere books, which I hope to uh, uh, change someday. Um, but this is one of the very few Cosmere books that I have left to read. And uh, it seems like it's a romance-leaning one, so I figured I'd throw it on my list for this month. Very much looking forward to the, reading this one, and uh, hopefully I love it, because I've loved most of Sanderson's work that I've read so far. Next one I have is going to be Baron and Luthien by J.R.R. Tolkien. This one and Yumi are actually ones that I bought quite recently. Um, just in January, and uh, usually I would wait a little bit longer and work through some of my backlog of, of other books that I need to get to, um, but these ones, since they fit the theme, I'm putting them on my list. Um, this is one that, again, seems to be more romance-leaning, um, and I did just do my reread of Lord of the Rings in December and early January, um, and uh, really enjoyed it, and I'm kind of in the mood for some more Tolkien as well, so I figured I would pick this one up. I've heard this is a really great standalone. Um, I've heard a little bit about the various different Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, Middle-earth standalones, um, and this seems to be a fan favorite, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Um, it seems like it'll be really cool. The third one that I have is a the one book that I think leans much more into romance than these other two, and I don't really know much about it because it's actually not one of my books. It is a book that my wife bought a couple of years ago, and I actually read a, a very small portion of the beginning of it to her because she prefers to have books read to her or listen to them on audiobook, um, and that is A Touch of Darkness. Um, now again, I don't really know anything about this one. It's not one that I have been particularly interested in, but it fits the theme. I want to read some other genres. I want to read some different stuff. So here it is. 
from what I understand and what I remember, this is a romance based on the gods Hades and Persephone. It's a Hades and Persephone romance, um, which, uh, you know, it, it's not it's not something that I am particularly into, but I figured I, I could at least try it out. And um, I don't expect to love it, but I, I will try to go into it with an open mind and see what I think. Um, and if nothing else, maybe I'll make for at least an entertaining video to talk about it. Um, so don't know what I'll think of this one, but um, I thought it would be maybe fun to try out. So there's that one. The last book on my TBR is one that I don't know for sure if I'll get to. Uh, most of these other books are pretty short, so I expect I may be able to get to this one, but who knows. Um, February is the shortest month of the year, so uh, that less that few less days may impact m the amount of books I'm able to get through. But I am planning to also do Of Shadow and Sea by Will White. This is the first book of one of his Elder Empire trilogies. Um, in January, I have read the first book of his other Elder Empire trilogy. These are two different trilogies that kind of coincide with one another, it seems. Um, and uh, I think that's a really cool concept. And I've looked into a little bit the reading order that people recommend, and it seems like a lot of people recommend, you know, read the first book of one trilogy, then read the first book of another trilogy, and then the second book of each trilogy, and so on. So that's why I am doing the first book of the other trilogy this month. Um, as of the time of recording this, I have not read the first book of the other trilogy yet, so I have no idea what I thought of it, um, but hopefully I liked it. So um, looking forward to reading this one, and I, I really like the concept of having two trilogies that kind of work together. Um, it seems really cool, so I'm looking forward to this one. And again, may not get to it, who knows, but um, I hope to get to this one uh, by the end of this month. So that is pretty much all I've got to say for this video. So let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, uh, which ones you're most excited to hear my thoughts on, all that kind of thing, and uh, what you're planning to read this month if you have any particular plans, if you're also kind of leaning more into romance books or if you're just kind of going with whatever other stuff. Um, and uh, again, I would like to do more themed months throughout the year. I don't know which months those will be or if I will even be able to do them. I do intend to make October a yearly thing on the channel where I do just focus a lot on horror books and probably the same thing for February as well. There's a couple other months that I uh, have been thinking about doing this for as well. Um, but I hope to do this more often, so I figure it would be fun to do this month. So that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time.